What's up guys, Eek with East Coast Ken, and I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a little bit. Uh, I spent the whole weekend from Thursday till Monday, technically Tuesday morning, in upstate New York for my brother's wedding. I did post a quick little short though, asking if y'all wanted me to move to New York, rent a shop for $900 a month, and do custom restorations. So why don't you go check that out in the meantime, but uh, until then, let's discuss the channel and its future path and the growth of it. So the Del Sol is done. As you can tell, the clear came out really nice. I still have to put the other fog light and the front bumper back on it, but it is done. Damien got his license, so it is officially his. I am without a project car now because it's done. So since the Del Sol is done, what does that mean we're gonna be doing on the channel? That's right. We're gonna be fixing the old heavy Chevy. The old girl's gonna get some love and some attention. Let me show you what we're gonna be working on. So that right there is going to be the first thing we fix. We're going to put the new one on. That way, that one doesn't break off on us. 90s paint. You got to love it. It looks like that all over the hood. But yet, some of it looks really good. You can kind of see my outline right there. So some of the paint is really good on it. And a lot of other spots are not good. And then we have two rust spots on the truck right down here on both sides. Oh yeah, by the way, the new air conditioning is absolutely kicking ass. But we're going to take care of those rust spots as well. And as you can tell, the roof is the same way. That spider web cracking this. We're also going to take care of this little dent right here and this spot right here, which is starting to rust. And as you can tell, the mirrors need a little love as well. So when it comes to painting the Del Sol, we use PPG Shop Line. For the Suburban, we're going to use the Nassan, N-A-S-S-O-N, I believe it is. The local O'Reilly's, where I have a business account, carries that. So we're going to have them mix up the paint code, and we're going to use their primers, their paint, and their clear coat on it. One of the other things we're gonna do on the channel is we're gonna learn how to do paint correction. So we're gonna do it to start with on the Del Sol and then the wife's car. And if I get lucky enough, I may try it on my parents' trucks. So since we're gonna be doing a lot more auto body related stuff, there's gonna be less of the other stuff. And what I mean by that is I'm no longer gonna be doing the Tool Time Tools Day. Guys, I did that for a year straight every single tuesday i maybe maybe missed two maybe three tuesdays out of a year straight um i truth be told i just can't afford to be buying new tools just to make a youtube short now if y'all get me up to a hundred thousand subscribers i'll buy a new tool every tuesday and i'll show it off not only in the packaging but i'll actually show it off being used and even though I have a bunch of go-karts, three of them to be exact, that need painting and primered, I'm no longer going to be doing the time to prime, even though I could do it on these and at work. It's just not going to be a series that I'm going to continue with. So although I won't be doing the Tool Time Tools Day or the time to prime shorts anymore, what I will be doing is random shorts. And you may see some of them occasionally, but it's not going to be the main focus that was what helped grow the channel to where it is right now. What you will be seeing more of, though, is auto body tool and product reviews. I've got one of the Bauer polishers that I'm going to be using to cut and buff the Del Sol. And I've also got some of the Hercules brand sandpaper from 600 up to 4,000 grit that I'm going to be using and testing out and seeing if it's any good or not. And there will be some giveaways coming up soon. I have one coming out when I hit 800 subscribers. Right now, we're sitting at 769. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely ring that notification bell. That way, when I hit 800 subscribers, you can be entered into the giveaway. And some of the random shorts I'll be throwing up will be tips and tricks like how to get this overspray off the window. And then come January, when Trent's getting his learner's permit... We're going to end up getting a new vehicle for the channel for a new project car. 
on top of finishing the Suburban. So guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, leave some comments down below, it really does help. Push me out into the algorithm as much as you possibly can. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. And don't forget, check me out over on Text Talking Shop. I'll leave a link down in the description below to that channel as well.